That's a good idea. Good morning. Hello. Oh, it's afternoon. Cool. Hey, Bean, come over here. What? You're just going to be joining the ballet pretty soon. You wearing leave? Is this an actual leotard? No, it's not a leotard. It's a t-shirt. Does it? Does it? Does it go down? Is like Show a part underwear? Show a new haircut. Nobody wants to talk about my outfit. Show off that new haircut. Yep. No. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, H, you want to show off your new haircut? Like if you took the pants down, is it is it is it underwear and a shirt as well? You know why I have this on? Why I'm mom, doing ballet? You got mom jeans. No, because I'm uh, talking to Jenna Johnson. Right, that's some point. Good segue. See you later, everybody. Well, <laughs> Jenna's gonna join us and it's cook club time. She's here. I should say Jenna Johnson because oh, obviously that's full name and we're being very proper here. Jenna, I know you're joining us any moment. And I'm so excited. There she is! And see, Ben was already making fun of my outfit, and I was like, I have, like, I feel love dinner. your leotard look. Thank you. And so does Val. Hi. What's up? <laughs> Good to see you. Oh, look at this guy. He's he's um he's looking around because he already kind of tasted what what hey, could it be. Ooh. Mm hmm. He this actually that. happens to be one of Val's favorite baked treats that I make. So. Yes. Yes. So if you guys are just joining us, Jenna and Val, so nice to join the virtual cook club today. I thought. And Adrian is probably going to be in and out because he has a new Power Wheels he really wants to go play with. So love that. We'll let that Val will be out. giving me back massages with our rolling pin that I'm going to be using later. Ew. Okay. Cross. <laughs> um, I wanted to have you on because, Jenna, I know that you, everybody, has been cooking more. But I've seen you. You're baking. You're cooking. You're doing it up. I even Belle, I saw. It was funny because you really strayed Belle from your favorite. The um, What did I see you make? A Caesar salad? He, <laughs> is, he is the master chef at a chicken Caesar salad. Yes. Um, but yeah, so I, I've always loved baking. I grew up baking, but I have never enjoyed cooking until quarantine. Nice. So I've been exploring. I actually have time to learn how to do it um but it's been so fun and but I, again i've so i've gotten better at cooking but i really have gotten good at baking and i it makes me so happy i mean i'm a freak for like food network i just love it so this what we're making today yes um and i told you but this is something that my mom always made growing up and it's so easy it's so simple but it is delicious and it's great for Obviously, we can't do it now, but like gatherings, family gatherings, barbecues, picnics. It's a great, quick, little, sweet treat um, that everyone loves. So, and that's the thing. So the name is the best cookie bar ever. Like it's so a big they're thing. The whole, they're the best. Um, my mom actually, and again, when we're going to be making it, there's like a little bit of a twist that she does. It's so simple and easy, but, um, she calls them magic bars. So I That's think right. on Pinterest or in cookbooks, there's the seven layer bars, but she calls them magic bars cause they are magical. So, so I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, the other thing that I thought was really, I don't know, I think cause I've just been following your stories and it's been nice that you're home a little bit, right? I mean, this is a horrible reason for all of us to have to explore, but you all, when this first started, tour stopped and have you been home in one place this long ever, I guess is my question. <laughs> Val and I have laughed because this is the first time that we've lived in our, in our home, honestly, mm -hmm. or like even lived in LA because Anytime we're here, we're, we're working, you know, yeah. we're either doing a season, we're rehearsing for tour, and then we are gone for three to six months out of the year. So this is the first time, and we were also laughing, I bet my kitchen is like, what is going on here? Because I have never been able to, and that's another thing, is I've just never been able to have the time to explore a kitchen or, you know, get used to it. So we have never been home this long and it's been it's been really nice honestly to even play house for the two yeah. of us i was gonna say first it must be so nice to be husband and wife because ben and i have never been in the same place this long ever in our marriage in our yeah. meetings we've never been together this much and we're thankfully it's going well 
Are you That's okay? Awesome. I know Val. Are you okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am surviving. No, I'm it's sure. it's been amazing to honestly not have to be working partners, but yeah. to just be husband and wife for a second. And we celebrated our one year anniversary in quarantine and we actually just got to enjoy it and we're on the road or we're working. So it is, it's been really nice. And I also, yes, you're so bad. I know. I love you, Val. I love you so much. And I'm going to love these bars just as much. So everybody just joining Jenna Johnson, Tchaikovsky joining me in the kitchen and virtual gingers cook club. And we are making, making her mom's and her nostalgic favorite magic bars. I say yes. we get cooking because this, I will say, so I pre-made so that the kids could taste it on camera. It is so easy. It's one of the easiest things I've made so far. So I feel like everybody could do this and you might even have a lot of these things in your cabinet. That's the really nice thing is it's a lot of ingredients that you could probably just gather and throw in together quickly, but it is so, there's not a lot of intricate steps, which I love. So this I'm also how I do it. I have to squat really low to get into the shot, but I have all my. I love it. I'm here. I'm gonna scoot mine back too, so you can see hopefully. And I'm, while you're doing that, I'm gonna just point out what everybody needs. So you need one cup of butterscotch chips, right? Which are yes. I mean, I haven't had these in so long. I put them on popcorn last night because we had them, and it was unreal. <laughs> so. Just a weird little thing. I am obsessed with butterscotch. I do not yeah. know why I love the flavor of it so much, but I just do. So, yes, one cup and butterscotch. Then butterscotch. And then? Half a cup pecans, chopped pecans if you have them. And if there's a nut allergy, you don't have to throw them in, or if you like another nut better, you can add it. Um, that's one cup of sweetened coconut, shredded coconut. And the star. Sweet and condensed milk, man. <laughs> love some sweet. Val actually loves sweet and condensed milk. Wait, so I have a question. Is he still there? Because when I was Babe, planning. come here. Yeah, Val, I got a question for you. It's a Russian-Ukrainian question. Russian-Ukrainian question from the Ging. So when I was planning to do this, Max, my Max, um, who is from Odessa as well, who I work with every day. He's like my brother at work. He mm. said that it is so popular that they like drink this in the Ukraine. This is why Val loves it. He uh, apparently it's like a sweet treat. You can just like eat it by the spoonfuls. I'm not sure. I learned that. Go here. So I'm very, very, very happy that we get to do this and, and verify his answer. Now I feel like kind of rude because I told him he was crazy, but apparently he's not. No, it's a thing. Huh, babe? You love sweet and condensed milk. I love sweet and condensed milk. And Max, my Max from Odessa, loves sweet and condensed milk, and I was making fun of him because he was saying he eats it, like, out of the can. The show lamb look boy is what it's called. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. So now I can take back my fun making that I did for him. Sorry, Max Colombo. <laughs> Literally, spoonfuls. Um, okay, yeah, so, so you need, and then you need 12 graham crackers. Okay. So this is what I like to do. I like to don't eat them. Don't eat them. Just <laughs> go away. That's the base. We need that. I know. So an easy way to crush up your graham crackers, if you're fancy and have a food processor like ginger, go ahead and do that. Okay. If you don't have one, <laughs> which I do not, I actually put mine, I throw them in a Ziploc baggie, and I roll them out with a rolling pin. Nice. So you need 12 graham crackers crushed, either food processor or roll them out. All right, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the loud part, so here we go. And I noticed mine get a little caught up, so I'm gonna shake and bake it for a second. And we have preheated the oven to what was it? Oh yes, and preset your oven for 350. Great, because it is a quick recipe. We're making magic bars that have the sweetened coconut, the semi-sweet chocolate, so much deliciousness, I can't stand it. So now, 
until we moved out of the city, I didn't have a food processor. So this is a new addition, and I really do like it. I have to say, I'm using it. You know what? And all my cooking shows, they have them, and I, I always think I need to get one, and I just always forget. So I just yeah, need, well, to, I need to invest in one. So yeah, 12 grams. And you food. want it like really fine, right, Jenna? Yeah, really fine. And then you're going to take, um, it's half a cup of butter or one stick, and you're going to melt it um, in the microwave. So put your crumbs aside, melt this in the microwave really quickly. Okay. Like a full melt. Yeah, I melted, I melted, I over melted the first butter and it went all over the sides. Oh no. So, this is the correct butter. And then just mix that in and it's, it's not to be like liquidy, right? It's supposed to be kind of flaky still. Um, yeah. You're going to need to combine it. Again, you're going to think that it's not done enough. It, it is. You're fine. Okay. So would your mom make these for like special occasions or were they just kind of a regular around the house deal? It was a Sunday tree or it was a tree that she was going to give to the neighbors. Mm -hmm. It was a classic. And you come from a pretty big family. Um, how's everybody doing? Um, they're great. You know, we're all spread out. Yeah. Around um, the state. But everyone's doing good. My parents are doing good. Um, I have a sister-in-law who's actually expecting in a few months. So that's been a little Ooh. crazy navigating. You know, going to appointments. And yeah. It's just scary. But... Everyone is good, thankfully. Healthy and safe. Nice. So yeah, you're just gonna combine um, all of this, and then if you haven't already, I did. You're gonna want a, a nine by thirteen pan, and you want to line it with um, either parchment paper or you could do foil as well. So you want parchment paper. So I'm doing kind of a, an oval one because I can't find anything else. So it that's fine. Yeah, it works. work. A little oval, oval squares will work. So, while we press, because we're just going to press this in and make a crust, um, do you and Val have been doing the nightly, or not nightly, but a lot of dance lessons that are so cool. And I have loved following them. Tell yes. people what you're doing and how they can find it. Yeah, so um, every, well, Monday through Friday, basically, there are live dance classes at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, mm -hmm. and it's through their company called Dance With Me. You can find the classes at dancewithmelive.com, or it's on Facebook or YouTube, and yeah, basically we teach Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then they have a lot of their awesome staff and teachers teaching on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's been amazing, honestly. There's been a, a big turnout, but also it's very rewarding for us yeah. to be able to still move and teach and dance. And I have to say, like, you know, I, I look back at my time on dancing with you and, and just having you as a mentor and then having Val, and it is one of the most special, talk about magic, moments of life. And this is such a window, this, these lessons that you're doing. It's such a window into what being on Dancing with the Stars is like. I mean, you are instructing very much the same way that you would uh, when you have one of us <laughs> trying to get us through it. Uh, it's a little, yeah, it's a little less one-on-one. -on -one, but I really get the sense, because you guys are, are such expert teachers at this time, instructors, um, that you learn so much. And I learned, I mean... I know how to learn from you, and like I almost know what you're gonna do, and I know your marshmallow hand and all that stuff. So, <laughs> I love it. So when I was doing those with y'all, I felt like I was right back there, but I knew how easy it was. So everybody can go to dance with me. Uh, it's dot slash live, right? Yes, right, babe. Dance with me USA. D dance with me USA dot slash live. That's for the live classes, and you can take live class tonight at eight. And it caters to anyone, any level, any style. So yeah, check them yeah. out. Okay, so Ginger, we have pressed the graham cracker mixture in. Now, this is where my mom has her magic. Oh. So she actually, the recipe usually calls for to put all of the chips and the coconut in and then drizzle with um, sweet condensed milk. So her, she swears by this, and I promise you too, it makes a much more gooey bar. 
she actually drizzles half of it on right now okay. before adding all of like the morsels. So get your condensed milk and you're gonna just, and you can just eye it. You're going to drizzle half of it all the way over. Okay. I think that's about right. Ooh, I love sweet and condensed milk. Oh, it is good. I understand it. The, the obsession. The obsession. <laughs> And I really haven't had it in so long. This, this between the both, mine's, <laughs> mine's less drizzly, more puddly. <laughs> I like to do mine in lines. <laughs> but you got a full coverage moment going on there. I love that. It's kind of like foundation. I'm like, I just want that one. <laughs> Wait, what's your mom's name? Tammy. Tammy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know what? She she she'll be okay. better with it. She'll get over it. Okay, All right, so then, now how do we fix this? <laughs> you know what? Yours are going to be super gooey, so your kids are lucky. Okay, so what I also like to do now is you're going to take those, um, your chips, and I just like to put them in one bowl and combine them all together. That's what I guess. Instead of having to do it one at a time. Yeah, perfect. So, again, one cup of each um, chocolate chip, butterscotch, coconut, and then... Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, I get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm going to mix them all first. Just the so I like them to all be evenly dispersed rather than kind of chunks. That, that will make it better. Oh, see. Hey. So the nuts in here as well? Yes, I'm going to throw my nuts in as well. See, yeah, I almost would be inclined to add like a couple cashews, or, but you really could throw in anything. My mom loves um, almonds, like yes. a toasted almond. So that's perfect. Yeah. Now you're going to just evenly spread it all over your pan. All over my giant lake of condensed milk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now it's pretty. What else have you? Too. What else have you baked? Um. So let's see. I actually, for Val's birthday, I baked him a cake. Mm-hmm. Which was terrifying and put me in a pretty bad mood because I wanted it to be perfect. Yeah. Um, I've made a lot of these bars. I've made a lot of bread. Mm. Oh my that gosh. Be this Wait, you can find yeast? This is like the thing I can't no. find anywhere. anywhere. I can't find yeast anywhere. But it's I've been making banana bread, so it doesn't call for yeast. Oh, okay. Val actually showed me this um, meme the other day that basically banana bread is, what was it, babe? Apparently, like, the most popular thing to cook in quarantine is banana bread, and it's true. I've made it, like, four times, so. Oh, bye. So much banana bread. So this is nice to kind of branch out. The kids are going to be really happy. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So now, oh, you already, did you drizzle it on top? No. Oh. It looks so white and pretty. So now okay. you're going to take your remaining sweet and condensed milk and evenly drizzle it all over. <laughs> Let me try this again. Unless you want to do a lake. <laughs> I see the point of the drizzle now, but what, But there's more. So should I use less than the can? You go all the way. Okay. You use all of the can. Okay. Your drizzle is just so much more refined than mine. <laughs> I just like to go like back and forth. <laughs> I think this is closer. I'm getting okay. there. Okay. I think this is it. Before it comes together, yeah? Yeah. Kind of looks like cheese. I don't know. So we're making magic bars. This is Jenna Johnson Tchaikovsky, and I have not seen a lot of humans, but it's so good to see your smiling face. It's so good to see you. Especially now that this is in here. So now we're going to put this in for how long? This is literally it. This is all for the prep, and you put it in for 25 minutes. Now, if you have, I have a convection oven, so I usually do it a little bit less. Okay. Um, but yeah, you want it to be nice golden brown on top. The coconut's a little bit toasted, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it in, and then I've got a special surprise here. Hold on. Okay, so I went ahead and made some beforehand because I wanted to have my taste testers. So those yes! are the, those are the finished products. Not bad. Those and look you, so oh, good. Critical part. You keep them in the refrigerator? Yeah. So you let them cool and then I would store them in the refrigerator so it can keep okay. all the gooeyness. All right. 
this, um, our, we have something on our oven that's a problem. I'll come back to that. I want to see if this live will go out because the kids are out in the driveway and we'll get a little taste test to end it all. If you guys haven't followed Jenna, please do so. Oh, thanks. Tell them your, tell them your handle, Jenna. You can you follow me at, at Jenna Johnson. At Jenna Johnson. I just dropped one on the floor. We'll give that one to Miles. He'll never know. <laughs> or the dog. Oh, wait, no. It has chocolate in it. Don't do it has that. has chocolate. You can't do it. Hold on. We're, we're getting there. I think they should be right outside. Hopefully it works. Hey, guys. You want to taste your, some sweets? Come on. Miles is running. Running. Well, hold on. So this is kind of ridiculous, but Adrian, you know, he's been doing those training videos. Yes. And he was thinking about being a personal trainer, but he's changed his mind. And now he's going to be a race car driver. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That is so cute. He should. <laughs> did you chalk in a full track? I did. I, yesterday I was out here and we made a track. Here, I'll bring it to you, Miles. You can... <gasps> What is it? Um, Look at this car. Yeah, check out that, that car. That car is amazing, Adrian. It's I a McLaren. <laughs> a McLaren. This is Jenna. Jenna's on the phone, but can you taste a this? A McLaren. And we. Okay. And we. You want to taste this? Stop. Great. Um, what do you think? What do you say? Thank you. Mm, you're Thank welcome. You. And, <laughs> and is it is it delicious? Their little faces. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's delicious. It's like candy, right, Miles? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, Oh, it's a McLaren. <laughs> oh, got it. Well, you guys enjoy that. I'm going to definitely steal those away because you're not going to have the whole things. But for now, <laughs> we'll head back in the house. They're oh, ahead. my gosh. Ginger, I'm hoping that my kids get curly hair just like your little babies. Oh, Who has, does without? Ben have curly hair? Not really. I have, I have curly, and um, but I guess it's my side. I don't know. Oh, what it's is, so I know. It really is. But you'll have it. You will definitely have that. I'm hoping they get Val's curls. They're they so will. cute. Well, it was a hit. I appreciate you, Jenna. This is an outstanding virtual cook club. And I, I wish we could do it again. We're going to have to do I it online. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, follow Jenna. Check out their dancewithmeusa.com slash live. You guys are doing such a great job. I miss you very much. Hopefully get to I see you soon. We cannot wait to see you. I miss you very much. Thank you for all that you're doing as well. Yeah. You and are the woman over there. I will post the recipe, by the way, so I'll be posting it. Perfect. Okay, see you soon. Enjoy your magic bars. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.